Today, people across the world are mourning with New Zealand following the devastating massacre at two mosques. Authorities say at least 49 people were killed. They say the alleged shooter streamed the attacks live on Facebook. Blaine Alexander reporting from Washington where reaction is pouring in from all across the country. Yeah, we will be taking a special Pain in New Zealand felt across the U.S. President Trump expressing his sympathy. You've all been seeing what went on. It's a horrible, horrible thing. I told the Prime Minister that the United States is with them all the way. In the nation's capital and across the country, mosques stepping up security. Police in New York standing watch during early morning prayers. From the Council on American Islamic Relations. Do not abandon your mosques. Not today, not ever. They want you to be afraid. You should not be afraid. In Christchurch, New Zealand, dozens killed during an attack on two mosques streamed live on Facebook and later taken down. This freeze frame showing the presumed shooter driving to one of the locations. Online, a 74-page apparent manifesto laying out a white supremacist viewpoint and at one point referring to President Trump. Were or are you a supporter of Donald Trump, the author writes, as a symbol of renewed white identity and common purpose? Sure. As a policymaker and leader? Dear God, no. The president asked today whether he sees white nationalism as a rising threat around the world. I don't really. I think it's a uh, small group of people that have very, very serious problems. I guess if you look at what happened in New Zealand, perhaps that's a case. I don't know enough about it yet. Now, a nation widely considered one of the safest in the world, coping with devastating tragedy. Throughout the day, that video has been shared across social media platforms, including YouTube and Twitter. YouTube says it is working to remove any violent footage. Meanwhile, New Zealand's prime minister says the, quote, primary perpetrator was living in Dunedin, a seaside city south of Christchurch. Officials say the man seen here carried out at least one of the mosque attacks. The apparent 74-page manifesto mentioned earlier is being linked to the 28-year-old.